my lovely year 13s, we are starting to get close to the end. Which means there is big pressure, um, big pressure on you to revise, we, there are exams coming up, um, mocks coming up, predicted grades coming up, UCAS forms coming up, um, and the, the big decisions you need to make about what you're going to be doing next year. Um, so it is understandable if you are slightly freaking out a little bit, um, but I really, really want you to take this half term to try and refocus to try and really, really work out what you need to do to look after your mental health in these last few months that you have at school. Try not to let the, the big things that are happening really, really overwhelm you. So look into, if you haven't done it already, what sort of things you need to do personally for yourself to look after your mental health. So it could be things like mindfulness, it could be things like getting outside, taking the dog for a walk, or just getting outside and going for a walk, say, on lunchtime when you um, are revising. You don't have to sit at your desk the whole time studying. That is not good for you. There are lots of things that you can do, be proactive in doing, that will look after your mental health. So getting outside, exercise, taking a break, putting your phone away, leaving your phone downstairs, going to bed with a cup of tea and reading a book. I know it sounds old, but it is a really, really good thing for you to be doing. It is the time of year where stress can start to build up and you can start to lead to do some self-destructive things. And that is literally only going to make it worse. So if you recognize those behaviors starting in yourself or in your friends, please either talk to your friends about it, talk to somebody at school, talk to somebody at home about it, and try to not let things build up and build up and build up to the point where they feel like they are unmanageable. It is early enough in the year where we can start to put good practices into place, commit to these good practices, and they will really, really help you when we get round to the exams. So doing 10 minutes of mindfulness is going to mean you do 10 minutes less revision, but it will mean that the revision you do after it is better revision because you've reduced your stress and anxiety. So please spend a little bit of time over half term thinking about what you need to do. Now, I do not want you to start doing lots and lots of papers from revision. I know maybe you've been given some, maybe you've been given some like AS papers to do, um, but the problem with doing so many so early on is that you're going to burn out a little bit before we get around to next year when we really just need to start thinking about focusing on revision. So when we go back, mocks might have been starting. Um, mocks generally run from about November, after half term, October, November time, all the way through to January, March for some people. Now what we can be expecting this year is that you're going to get more mocks than you would if the pandemic hadn't happened. This is just teachers doing a sensible thing, preparing in case they need to go back to centre assessed grades again, and preparing that to have the evidence for your assessments and for your grades in case they need it. So the whole point of mocks is to work out where you have gaps in your knowledge. And then we can go back and fill in those gaps in your knowledge. So I don't want you to spend this October half term doing loads and loads of practice papers, doing loads and loads of revision. I want you to try and find these gaps in your knowledge before we get to the mocks. So use your knowledge checklist, put them in the front of your home folders and go through watching my whole topic videos um, with the knowledge checklist printed out in your folder saying yes I do know that bit, no I don't know that bit, yes I do know that bit, no I don't know that bit. Find the bits that you don't know now before your mocks and then go back to your revision guides, go back to one of the Oxford Advised books that I've written which are brilliant, um, or go back to um, my videos or your textbooks and fill in those gaps so that when it comes around to the mock exam it's not such a surprise that the bits on there that maybe you're not very familiar with, well we've already tried to fill in those gaps before the mock exams happen. Inevitably, there will be bits that you don't do so well on in your mocks. 
this happens every year. It is completely normal. Nobody is going to be perfect this early on in the course. We haven't finished the course. We still have time to revise. So use the mocks as an opportunity to work out how you need to improve. When you get the exam papers back, look at the mark schemes. Mark schemes are a brilliant way of working out how you can improve in exams. Because sometimes you can write down perfect knowledge in the wrong way, which means you're not getting the marks. It is brutal sometimes to see something that is basically perfect, but not written correctly, so you can't give them any marks. They get really, really fussy when marking A-levels to make sure that you do it perfectly and correctly but the mark schemes will point these things out to you they'll point out to you which words you need to know how to spell correctly um where you need to draw arrows and exactly how much detail you need to put into your answers so it is worth spending some time with your mock exams and a different kind of pen and the mark scheme and going over and improving them if your teachers won't let you do that to your actual mock exam ask for a photocopy of it to do it on a few things that are always flagged up by examiners, and this is a good thing for you to start looking at now, is the fact that the year 13 content is harder than the year 12 content. So more people spend time revising the year 13 content and not the year 12 content, um, which means when it comes around to exams, everyone does really poorly on the year 12 content, even though it's technically the easier stuff. Um, so spend time revising what you did this time last year. I'm doing a whole series of videos on how to revise, what sort of things you need to do in an hour of independent study, how you can organise things properly so that um, you are making good use of your time. Really good things for you to do over this half term, like I've said already, are the knowledge checklists. Follow those up, we're doing some retrieval questions, so really, really low stakes revision here, but really, really good revision. So these can either be short retrieval questions or they can be things like the multiple choice questions that I've written for you over on my website. The, um, you can do these over and over and over and over again. These are not a test. Nobody is going to see your answers or see your results and um, nobody is going to judge you if you get them all wrong. You can go and have a look at what the answers are do them again and then hopefully you won't get them all wrong maybe you'll get some of them right and this is the process of learning this is the process of revising we are not expecting you to get everything right now we are not expecting you to be perfect now but we are expecting you to do stuff so that we can start getting more stuff right and lots and lots of low stakes retrieval questions are a great way to do that um so please focus on your mental health this half term things are going to start to get harder in the new year um when we have lots and lots of things coming up um i'm going to be here with you every single step of the way guys so please try not to worry ouch this is why in some videos i have unexplained scratches